Hello, my name is Sean Sperry, and in this short video, we're going to talk about the Spectrum Protect Plus open source monitoring tool, SPPMon. So just to give you some background to start with an overview, SPPMon is an open source project that was started by the Spectrum Protect development team. Uh, you'll find, as you will, a lot of other open source projects, the source code and the documentation on GitHub. And if you just go out there and Google SPPMon, it'll show up uh, as a link to, Git mod, uh, to GitHub, most likely as the first hit uh, in Google. You can download the software from GitHub and use it as is with a Spectrum Protect Plus server, or if you choose to, you can enhance uh, the product and add your own tools, dashboard interfaces, queries uh, to it, and contribute it back to the community uh, if you like. Now what SPPMon does is it provides options for both the daily and the long-term monitoring of Spectrum Protect Plus including the application itself using REST API calls, as well as the infrastructure that Spectrum Protect Plus uh, runs on, like the vSnaps, VADP proxies, and the Spectrum Protect Plus uh, server. The project uses a lot of other open source projects as building blocks, including CentOS, uh, this InfluxDB, which is an open source time series database, and Grafana, which is uh, an analytics platform and GUI interface that takes the results of the queries to Spectrum Protect Plus and presents it in a GUI form. Now, what is custom, shall we say, about SPPMon is the Python code for extracting the data from Spectrum Protect Plus. So when you download the GitHub project, you will get a Python script that goes out to Spectrum Protect Plus and its infrastructure, essentially pulled data from it and stores it in the InfluxDB so that it can be be displayed using Grafana. Now, as far as the installation and configuration goes, there is some documentation uh, which is linked to the GitHub wiki. It's pretty detailed and pretty step-by-step. Uh, -step. Uh, if you look at the user guide, you'll find step-by-step -step on how to set this up. And there's also a developer guide that's available. So if you want to do any functional enhancements to SPPMon for your own environment and maybe contribute back to the community, you can. The documentation does specify two installation objects, options. One is just individual components. So basically you deploy a monitoring system and you go out there and install Grafana, the InfluxDB, and this SPPMon Python code, and then use it to query the Spectrum Protect Plus infrastructure. Or you can also do this uh, containerized, where all of this infrastructure is run on Docker containers in, on a Linux system. Uh, and you go out there and query the Spectrum Protect Plus environment using those, uh, those Docker containers. I'm going to do a short demo slash walk around of just the, the site, the GitHub site, and uh, an example of what the dashboard looks like. Uh, so you can just kind of see what's out there available and maybe uh, install this for yourself in your Spectrum Protect Plus uh, environment. So let's do that now. So I'd just like to start with just showing you where to find SPPMon. As you can see, if you Google SPPMon, you'll see the GitHub site come up at the top of the list. And clicking on it will just take you to GitHub where you can uh, download the code and install it on your own uh, system. Here you see a short description, and 
the project wiki is where you'll find the documentation. So as I mentioned in the introduction to this video, there are really two sets of documentation. Uh, one is a user guide and one is a developer guide. The user guide is broken into two parts. One that describes installing SPPmon on a base CentOS system. The other is using a base CentOS system but installing SPPmon as a Docker container. Now, if you're interested in enhancing the project, you can hear some, you can get some additional information on how to do that and some additional help on syntax and uh, requirements, uh, etc. Now I have SPPMon installed here and This is a relatively small uh, system, so I won't really look too much at the historical data here, but this is just a CentOS system, and here we're looking at the Grafana dashboard for that system. And here you just see some examples of some of the information that is pulled back from the Spectrum Protect Plus environment. Now, I just want to emphasize that this is not the only way you can monitor Spectrum Protect Plus. Built into the product, there are email reports, alerts, uh, custom reports, etc. So this is just an add-on that provides you more information. But here you can see you can set the time frame that you were looking at. So, for instance, the last two days is what we're looking at. And here you see the equivalent in Grafana of just a whole lot of detailed information about server CPU usage, server RAM usage, catalog space, job durations, uh, CPU RAM usage over time. Uh, you see some information about... Uh, data protection jobs, how long they're running, uh, catalog backup duration. Again, this is a very small system here, so I haven't even backed up the catalog yet. But if you were backing up the catalog, you could see information about that here. And uh, here's some information about how long it takes to do a hypervisor inventory, application inventory, various other types of data that SPPMon can monitor and give you data on. I won't go through all the panels here uh, because a lot of them are going to depend on what applications you have installed on the system. But suffice it to say you can get a lot of information about your Spectrum Protect Plus uh, environment and you can also customize this panel if you wanted to do some additional development. So that's SPPMon. I hope you found it useful and I hope you go out there and give it a try, at least against a Spectrum Protect Plus test system to just see how it works. Just follow the documentation to do the install. It's very step-by-step -step driven uh, and take a look and see what information you can uh, get. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much.